Eurovision Song Contest. Every single delegation of the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest is going to walk right here on the carpet. Please give them an applaud. Someone is going to walk this carpet and someone is going to be the winner of the 64th Eurovision Song Contest. It's so exciting. Welcome to Tel Aviv, everybody. We're going to have so many surprises. We're going to have Netta here. Woohoo! Yeah, Netta! Dama International is going to be here. Listen to my heartbeat. Can you hear it? Oh, I can hear it. I can hear it. We are here, wait, we are here waiting for the 41 delegations who are about to arrive here with their fancy cars, and we're going to ask them some fancy questions soon. Just wait for us. we are excited as much as they are. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, we have lots of journalists waiting for them here. A lot of questions and a lot of fun waiting on, uh, after. Uh, so we're waiting. Let, let's start. Fantastic. Tell them awesome. to come. Great. We're also going to have our amazing DJ Tomo G to pick us up here. And on the other side of the carpet, all the die-hard fans with one of Israel's funniest comedians. Nadav Avakasis, are you there? Good evening. No, I'm here. I'm here the whole, e the whole evening and uh, I'm excited as well. Just like you. Yeah. And we're going to have a nice evening with all the dele delegations and uh, with all the amazing, amazing people. Hello, guys. Wow. Thank this you. is going to be a nice evening. Thank you so much, Nadavi. We're also going to meet our hosts for the show. We're going to pluck them straight out of the tightest rehearsal schedule on the planet. We're going to hear all about the craziness, their lack of sleep, and maybe if we're lucky, we're going to share a couple of surprises with us. In addition, as I said before, our winner from 1998, Dana International, is going to be here. And of course, the reason we are all here, we're going to give it up again to our last year's winner, Netta. All right, you guys, are you ready? Give me that, give me that. Look at me, I'm a... Uh, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> the first delegation is seconds away, and all of us here on the orange carpet are pumped up for tonight. The 2019 Eurovision Song Contest opening ceremony starts right now. We're gonna have an amazing number here. We're bringing them out. This is a huge, huge, huge event. We are live on Khan 11, the Israeli Public Broadcasting Corporation, and also on Eurovision.tv. We're waiting for the winner, uh, the, the winner of 1991 Eurovision in Israel and the third runner-up for 1999 Eurovision in Rome. They're gonna be singing one of the hit songs of this competition. How are we doing, Leon, Shani, are you guys there? What's going on? Are the cars about to get there? Wait, yeah, they're we are waiting, and we, we can't wait to see who comes first, right? Uh, this is the time to say to all the Tel Avivian people, <laughs> don't, don't uh, expect don't to find mad, parking yeah. around here. It's all jammed with people. <laughs> no parking places, only cars with delegations are uh, arriving here, nobody else. Nobody else. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do this again. Let's say this again. Good evening, Europe. Bonsoir, Europe. Buonasera, Italia. Good day, Australia. And Erev Dov, Tel Aviv. Welcome to the opening ceremony of the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest. I'm your host, Noah Tishby, and we are live at Eurovision.tv. Now this is Israel's third time hosting this massive musical extravaganza and which city is more appropriate to host this show than this party town, my hometown, the city of Tel Aviv! 
20 years have passed since the Eurovision Song Contest visited our little country, and we are here and so proud and excited to have you all back here for this heartwarming event which unites the world through music with this year's theme, Dare to Dream. Now, the orange carpet is already laid down. It's orange, as you can see. Orange is the new red, and the delegations are on their way. 41 countries from all over Europe and Australia will be competing for the honor of taking the big win in this 2019 Eurovision Song Contest. Give it up again! Great. Okay, are you ready? The town cars are on their way, and you can really feel the excitement in the air. Shani Nachshani, Leon Rosenberg, at the top of the carpet. Let's say hello. Hello. No, we are waiting here. There yes. is a traffic jam of uh, representatives right around the corner, and we're waiting for them to arrive. So uh, take, take take the time. I, just Great. Went, I, I went over there to check what's going on. Uh -huh. it's, uh, everything is going Great. according to plan. They are on the way. So yeah, yeah. yeah it's, can it's we call our like first musical number? We yeah. really want to hear some music. Are you ready? Let's go for it. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest opening ceremony starts right now. Corporation, which airs the Eurovision Song Contest. 
The song was third runner-up at the 1991 Eurovision Song Contest in Rome, and it, 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 it is, until today, one of the most adored songs in the history of the competition. Thank you so much, Ona and Moshe Dats, and thank you, Stefan, for joining them. This is the 64th Eurovision Song Contest. We are in Tel Aviv now. I was born right here, so for me, this is beyond exciting that it's happening here. Now, when the competition started, only seven countries competed, and now 41 countries come together with creativity, with playfulness, and unite the world around music. And we are here, and we are about to begin. Let me see if Cyprus is on their way. Is Cyprus on the way? Are we getting there? What's going on? Is Cyprus on the way, you guys? Thank you so much, Ola Mushedats and Stefan. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Cyprus will open the first semifinals with a song replay performed by Tamata. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cyprus. And this is Tamata. Welcome. Welcome, Tamta. Come on. Her song is called Replay. Three creators of Cyprus's last year entry, Fuego, yes, wrote and produced this year's song. After 34 times on this stage, Cyprus is still looking for the big win. Last year we came close, didn't we? He stole my kiss. <laughs> come here, come here. I've got. I've, what are you walking on? What is this? Can you see this? Oh She's my God. so much taller than us right now. Uh, how do you feel? Um, I'm so excited. Uh, happy to be here. Boys, where are my boys? Yes. Okay. Hi, boys. Do you want to say anything to Europe right now? Vote Cyprus. <laughs> Started, I'm really, so. really excited, and everyone is excited in my team, and really happy to be here. You're going to be the first to perform in this year's contest. How does it feel? It feels great, to be honest. I'm going to be the first, and then just sit and wait. <laughs> yeah. And your your song is so much fun, but I know that you have a really strong message to people out there who has dreams, right? Just dare to dream, because dreams come true. I swear to you, dreams come true. So now dare to walk the orange carpet with his fabulous Good shoes. Good luck, Tamta. Good luck, Cyprus. Now are they taking some photos for the journalists? So now Cyprus is taking a bunch of photos. And we all glammed up so nice. Shame not to use it. Looking fabulous. I need to talk to her about this dress. I mean, I'm not sure about those heels. This is very impressive. I don't think I can do that. Amazing. You know that uh, last year's team, it's the same team who wrote this year's uh, song. Yes, they are. Last year. Didn't work out that well, but it worked out for us. We're here. Second place is good. Second place is great. But I being really here tonight is much do better. better. This year. Tonight I'm okay. Last year we needed this. We're generous this year. Tamta is taking her time, enjoying the attention of all the European media right here in this location. Yeah, we have hundreds and hundreds of delegations and press from all over the world. 
And she's looking, she looks amazing, right? Looks amazing. I wonder how the song actually is going to be on stage. I hear it all works out incredible. Rehearsals went really well. And they're taking photos. We have a lot of people on the orange carpet. I'm going to talk to each and every delegation. I'm going to be talking to Heleni later on, you guys. Do you know them? I'm just feeling a little bit of a surprise right here. But I hear everything is great. Now they're Netta and, and her great friends. That's last year's uh, second runner-up, first runner-up. Well, with a dress like this, she, she must uh, give attention to the photographers, right? That's the dress for this evening. I can imagine <laughs> what she wears well, I, on I the actual show. I watched what she is actually wearing on the, on the stage. It's sheer. It's very see-through. OK. Yeah. Sounds interesting. It, it is interesting. <laughs> Actually, we can see some of the rehearsals on the Eurovision.tv, uh, right? Yes. Okay, the next car is about to stop at the top of the carpet, and it's Montenegro. This year, Montenegro sent us a super group. Three girls, three boys, and they're called Divo. Let's hear it from Montenegro. These are the young men and women of the group Demo. Their song is called Heaven. Welcome, Montenegro! They're the youngest, they're very young super group. Tamara is 16 and the oldest one is Rizzo, he's 21. So Mirla, Joko, Ivana, and Amel. Three years ago, Montenegro scored its best place ever. Lucky number 13. They'll be right there with Leon and Shani. Montenegro entered the Eurovision Song Contest for the first time in 2007. Okay, you're sick. Hello. It's Welcome. a lot of kisses. Oh. Yes. A lot of we have you to have kiss a lot of people room. to take a photo with. <laughs> so, so who's Come talking? Come stand uh, next to us. Everybody's talking Everybody's together. Talking. Okay. So okay. some of you are high school students, right? Yes. Most of you. Yes. Uh, what did you say to your teachers when you went to the Eurovision Song Contest? Going to the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and that's it. You got a lot of homework? Uh, no, no. You're free. <laughs> Go represent us in the best possible way. <laughs> well, all of you are friends, and it's a six of you. So, this is like a field trip for you or a song contest? Because I know that you also went for some uh, tours in Israel, right? You went to Jerusalem and stuff. Yeah, yeah. We were to Jerusalem, and the last time when we were here to film a postcard, uh, we were to the old Jaffa, and it was really great. But uh, we are here to sing and to share our energy and love and uh, everything like that. It's so cute. You have positive vibes? Of course I have. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. And I have to say that uh, we are really honored and happy to be here uh, because we are so young and uh, that's it. So. so maybe maybe we'll see you again in a few years in more and more Eurovisions? Maybe. Maybe we would like. Because you started so young, so you have yeah. a lot of way to go. Yeah. So now you have a lot of way to go. So everybody's waiting to take your picture, so please. Stand in front of the cameras. This is the beginning of the Eurovision contest. It's your and moment to shine. Enjoy your time. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Montenegro, here they are. <laughs> the 
This is Montenegro, supergroup Demo. Very young, having a great time taking pictures, basking in the glory that is the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> Young and professional. Give it up to Montenegro, everybody. Tamara, Mirella, Jellico, Ivana, and Amal. down the orange carpet. And now, the next person to walk down the carpet is actually not a singer, not as far as I know. He is the mayor of the biggest party town in the world, my favorite city, my hometown. Please welcome the mayor of Tel Aviv Jaffa, Ron Khurdei. And his beautiful wife, Yael. <laughs> Ron has been the mayor of Tel Aviv for 20 years. He's credited for returning this place into the amazing city that it is. Ron and Yael Khuldayi. The mayor of the hosting city. <laughs> He's seen some parties, but this is a big party. <laughs> We're going to have a chat about that later. Now, some of the next band members weren't even alive when we last hosted the show in 1999. But in that same year, DJ Darud from Finland released his mega hit, Sandstorm. He will be taking the stage this year alongside Sebastian Raymond. And all the people in the house, give it up for Finland! in 2006 over the top band Lordy and their song Hard Rock Hallelujah. That was a victorious moment. That was the only hard rock act to win the contest ever. Darud is an international DJ and music producer sold over 5 million copies worldwide, and he's one of the most important and leading influencers in the dance music scene. Welcome to Tel Aviv! And Sebastian is starring in one of the most popular nighttime dramas on Finnish television. Shani Valion. So Take excited it. to see you here. How are you? So great. So great to have such a great DJ in Israel. It's not your first time, is it? Uh, not the first time. Early 2000s, I was here a couple of times. And then actually, then uh, more recently, we came here and did the postcard shooting here in Tel Aviv. And uh, 
we've been enjoying our time in Israel. <laughs> how, how does it feel for such an established DJ, such successful artist, to come and compete in the Eurovision Song Contest? Um, you know, business as usual. <laughs> no, it's, uh, this, is, this is such a lovely opportunity. Um, we don't see music as a contest really, but obviously it's a contest, but uh, it, the contest happens when you make the songs and decide on them. And now it's just been like a huge music festival backstage and artists slapping high fives and having a good time. Um, I have to tell a little secret because I was with you during your uh, sound checks and you sang a very, very interesting song. It calls uh, Tight Pants, if I'm not mistaken. Do you want to tell something? It's a new hit. Uh, yeah, is it your new hit? <laughs> it, hopefully, but then I have to pay Will Ferrell and Jim, Jimmy Fallon. Okay. Big, big, big credits for that because it's actually something they did. And it's because I think I sang it because my pants, maybe they're boots, I don't know. <laughs> you never know. They got a big, big news headline in, in Finland, so I guess that's why I sang about my tight pants. Are you do you want to sing something right now? Of, of course I do. <laughs> Hold the flag, buddy. Everybody's talking about my tight pants. I got my tight pants. I got my tight pants on. No, it's actually I'm the only one who's wearing tight pants. I got my tight. He's got his tight. He's got his tight pants on. What great spirit! Uh, where are your applause? Come on, guys! <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard it, and it was great. Great performance, Dudes Pois from us. That's your first Dudes <laughs> Pois in this competition. Are you, you got it. Are you enjoying your time here? Yes, definitely. It's, it's been such a great week, and I think we're just closing in on the competition, so I'm really anxious to get there up on the stage and do what we actually came here to do. So have great luck. Good luck. And enjoy, and bring your spirit to stage. It's a great honor having you here. Enjoy the walk. Good luck, you guys. Bye. Toda. Thank you, Finland. And now I have with me the mayor of Tel Aviv, Jaffa, and his wife, Yael and Ron Khuldai. Ron, when did you know that you wanted to have the Eurovision in Tel Aviv? When I saw the last contest. <laughs> when you realized we were winning? When I saw the toy, yeah. I understood this is my punishment. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of preparations did you have to come up with in order to have this uh, the show here? Preparation. It's a very, very complicated project uh, to do it. And uh, we are very happy that we have it here. And we are... Uh, everybody's happy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, has he been working really hard? Have you seen him recently in the past couple of weeks? Hello? Are you having fun here? Yes, of course. You look beautiful. You too. Fabulous. That's the lab of the Eurovision. Very true. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing. to our fourth delegation, Poland. Now this year, yeah, Poland sent us an all-girl group, a real fashionistas. The band is Tulia. Please welcome Poland. Julia is an all 
girl group, Patricia, Dominica, Joanna, and Tulia singing Fire to Love. Hello, girls. Such a pleasure having you. You're all dressed uh, the same. Yes. <laughs> Who chooses uh, the clothes? We choose it ourselves. We have our own designer, 1683 Atelier, and we hope it's going to fit the orange carpet. <laughs> you have a very uh, specific uh, kind of singing. How do you call it? Scream singing, white voice, Spivokszyk. Spivokszyk. I wouldn't try, but my suit fits you, so I might be one of the group. Just can you demonstrate how you sing together in harmony? Okay, ready? Okay, one, two, three, four. Fire, fire, fire of love! We don't need, we don't need a microphone to hear you. I guess the whole Tel Aviv just heard you. Well, girls, how, how, how was rehearsals by now? Uh, rehearsal was great. We can't actually wait for the semifinals. It's gonna be in two days. Yes. <laughs> so have uh, fun in the meanwhile. We have a great party coming on and enjoy the media attention. Thank you. Tulia, thank you. Good luck. Julia's taking pictures. It's getting crowded here. Zella and Gashfar from Slovenia. Their song is Sebi. Please welcome Slovenia. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, I'm with Gaspar and Zala. Hi there. Hi. How are you doing? Good, you? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great. It's a, it's a great uh, occasion. It's a big ceremony. Is it right that you're a romantic couple as well? No, just friends. Just friends, okay. Just, that doesn't seem friend, more than friends, okay. How is it being uh, with the rehearsals? How do you feel on the big stage with the big uh, competition coming up? Um, well, a lot of times it's actually too much for us, uh, but yeah, like, we are a couple actually and it really helps us that, you know, we have each other and that's like the best, you know, it's an experience we have together and also like for our musical path, it's great that we know what we want. Great, so have a great time here. Have you seen much of Israel or are you just being in rehearsing all the time? Uh, the second one, pretty much. But we uh, are also close to the beach, so we enjoy a lot of time there also. So have a nice time. You're going to get a lot of attention right now from all the media over here. Are you, are you okay with it? Kind of. <laughs> so get used to it. That's what you're going to get uh, the whole week now. So Zala and Gaspar, have good luck. Welcome them, please. Zala and Gaspar are taking pictures. They are so cute, I can't. 
I'm not quite sure. Are they a couple or are they not? But they're amazing anyway. <laughs> This is getting crowded. And now with the song Friend of a Friend, the band Lake Malawi, let's make some noise for the Czech Republic. The name of the band is from a song by Paul Viva. So I'm here with Lake Malawi. Hi, guys. Good evening. Good evening. You, you, your flag is the biggest by now. Well, that's a, that's a compliment, I guess. You can, let's not compare. Let's not compare flags. That's a great, uh, great suggestion. So, how is it being uh, by now? Uh, when do you, do you arrive? We arrived almost ten days ago, actually. So we've enjoyed a lot of Israel, the Dead Sea, Jerusalem, warm hummus, everything. Warm hummus is the best. Did you catch some words in Hebrew? Yes. What? Sababa. Great. Sababa. One. Somebody wants to add one. Toda, toda, thank you. Sababa is uh, awesome, let's say. So, uh, how do you feel with your song? You have a very catchy song, very popish song. How do you feel with it? We believe in it, and that's the reason why we are here, you know. Of course. How did you pick the name Lake Malawi from, from the song of Bon Iver? Have you been to Lake Malawi in Tanzania? Unfortunately not. That's, you know, that's the problem. The time will come and we will go to Lake Malawi. But the good thing is, we're not only representing the Czech Republic here, we're representing the people of Malawi and all the Africans in the world with the song Friend of a Friend, which is, which is cool. Great, and unfortunately they can't vote for you. But have good luck in the meanwhile. Enjoy the media and have a nice day and good performance. Lake Malawi, Czech Republic. Okay, Lake Malawi is continuing in the Dove. One of the funniest people in this country is waiting with the fans. The Hello! Dove fans. The Dove, how are you doing? Hello, Noah, Noah, if you remember, last year the Eurovision contest was in Lisbon, Portugal. Yes. And now these people couldn't, you know, couldn't li li come, in. I mean, they want to come here because last year was so nice. And these guys uh, came from Portugal, Portugal. yeah, Por and uh, Lisbon, yes. Yeah. And uh, that reminds me of my Portuguese, uh, I can say, eu, você, eu falo português, Pregação perto, porra, muito bem, é? É Ronaldo. Ronaldo, é, yeah. Ronaldo. And uh, how are you guys? Are you having fun? Yes, of course. Uh, what's your name? André. André. And your name? Paulo. Paulo. And uh, who is your favorite? Live uh, uh, your uh, singer. Okay, Conan Osiris. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Uh, yeah. are, you, are you mad on us because uh, last year you almost won? No. No? Are you okay with uh, Neta's. Uh, do you like uh, Neta's song? Of course, we came in the same airplane with Neta. Oh, yeah, okay. So you want to sing together? Come on. I'm not your toy. Not your toy. I'm stupid boy. Stupid boy. I take you down now. You love me. Ding, ding, dong, wah, wah, ding, wah, 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 Okay, yeah. They're very good. They're very good. Okay, uh, to you. Back to you, Noah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, and welcome to everybody. Next to step out is Yoti Popai, who represented Hungary three years ago in Kiev. He took the eighth place then. What's gonna happen this year? Who knows? Let's hear it for Hungary. <laughs> going to sing the 
song, My Father. In the last eight years, Hungary has qualified for every single grand final. That's incredible. Hungary had participated 15 times since its debut, but has yet to win the Eurovision Song Contest. So I'm here with Yotzi. It's not your first time in the Eurovision. So how does it feel? Oh, the perfect. I like your Eurovision. It's the best feeling ever. Are you feeling you feel more prepared now that you know when it needs to get uh, to get the votes? Azt hiszem, hogy igen, rutint azt, azt mindenféleképpen szereztem az, ele, az, az előzőből, de egyébként meg a pillanatét minden. I definitely got a lot of experience in my previous Eurovision year, so yeah, I feel a lot more confident. And you have a cool glasses, and I like the jacket. What is this? What is this? Igen, itt van az én stylistem, Shilin Kolos, akinek köszönhetem a szettet. Két éve is ő volt velem, és ő is lesz mindig is velem. Uh, he's Kola Schilling, he's Yossi stylist. Uh, he's been in the 2017 Eurovision as well, and uh, he's going to be Yossi stylist forever, <laughs> he said. <laughs> nice, so enjoy the time on the uh, orange carpet, and good luck in the competition. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yotzi, second time in the Eurovision Song Contest. Welcome to all of you who just joined the party. We are live on Khan Channel 11, the Israeli Broadcasting Corporation. I'm your host, Noah Tishby, and we're celebrating the opening ceremony of the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest in Tel Aviv. Forty-one delegations will walk the carpet and take us to the Charles Bronfman Auditorium, Hechalatabut, right in front of me here in Tel Aviv, where we're going to have another spectacular show with our own diva, Dana International. So stick around, okay? So many delegations, so little time. Let's keep on moving. Now, the youngest contestant this year. Her name is Zana. She's only 16 years old. Let's meet Belarus. I always try. It's a girl like it. It's a girl like it. has never won the Eurovision Song Contest, but the winner of the 20, 2009 contest from Norway, Alexander Rybak, is actually from Belarus originally. Oh, adorable. Come here. Come here. Hey, Zan, how are you doing? I'm good. You're the youngest in this competition. How does it feel? It's very cool because I feel like I'm spring, like I'm summer, and I'm very excited. You got a great song, and I heard you hosted the Junior Eurovision Song Contest, so you're very familiar with the stage. It was my first experience, uh, and I was very excited because I was 15 maybe. Yep. Such a long time ago, yeah. a year <laughs> ago. Yeah. And you, you dubbed Moana in the famous uh, Disney uh, picture. So can you sing something from Moana? Because you did it all, right? Okay. 
Zagadi is on. We've got the real Moana in here. Have applause for Zana. Congratulations and have good luck in the competition. for this next artist. Six years ago, she was part of a band who took the stage for Serbia. Now she's doing it on her own. Please give a warm welcome to Navana from Serbia. <laughs> This year, Nirvana wants to take the crown with her song, Un, which means crown. Serbia entered the Eurovision Song Contest in 2007 and won with its debut entry. I'm here with Nirvana. Hey, how are you doing? Great, thank you. We're so happy because we are here tonight with you. With me specifically or just everybody? Oh, yeah, everybody. Okay, okay. Okay, I, I understood the difference. <laughs> what are you wearing? This is amazing. This is, somebody really picked it. Yes, my, my very good friend, Nevena. She's here, I think. <laughs> Somewhere. So Somewhere. what is it? It's a dress? It's a, what is it? Something similar with my, with my uh, dress for Eurovision and uh, special for tonight. Yeah. Can you explain something about the song? What does it mean? What does it say? The song about my love is dedicated to my husband. Aww. So. Aww, thank you. <laughs> he's here? Yeah, yeah, he's here tonight. How do, how do you enjoy your time in Israel? Amazing! I love this city, these people, and I'm I'm really happy because your vision is this he, uh, year here in Israel in Tel Aviv. Very nice. We're happy to have you, Nirvana. Have I have a great time here and send hello to your husband. Your love. Now this young man is a high school student and he's the youngest male solo act on the show this year. With the song, Wake Up, give some love for Elliot and welcome, Belgium. Belgium won once in 1986 with the immortal Sandra Kim song, Hands down, one of the best songs ever to win the competition. Now, Elliot.
Natalia wants to change that. Hoping to score another win for Belgium. Belgium is one of the seven founding countries and entered the Eurovision Song Contest 60 times. waiting for you here. We have a lot of people, so don't don't shake hands of everybody. Come with me. <laughs> Elliot from Belgium. I love the way that you gave attention to each and every one that you saw. It's important, I think. Why? Because everyone is important. It's important. This is such a great message. It's very important to this. Uh, you come from Belgium. How was your trip? Very good, actually. How are the rehearsals going? Uh, the second one was really, really good. You yeah. feel confident now? I do feel confident, yeah. The yeah. semi-final in two days, what do you plan to do until then? Uh, just rest a lot and uh, so in order to be ready to the, for, the, post, for the, um, the, the, the big day. Yeah, no parties until Tuesday? Uh, no, just water. <laughs> okay, you, you know that we all remember Sander Kim's big song, Jamais Jamais La Vie. Do you remember it? You weren't even born then. No, I wasn't born, but I, I do know the song. You do? I'm trying to push you to sing something, but you're not, you don't have to. Okay, go. Jamais Jamais La Vie Jamais Jamais La Vie Jamais Jamais La Vie Jamais Jamais La Vie yeah. We're gonna work as a duo. Yeah, we should, but, but you have a lot to meet, a lot of people to meet, so just go ahead, enjoy your stay. Give some big applause to Elliot from Belgium. Belgium is walking down the carpet. And our next delegation has yet to win the Eurovision Song Contest. This country has won the Junior Eurovision Song Contest three times more than any other country. Let's give a hand to Georgia. Hello, everyone. You're very enthusiastic. Hey, come here, boys. Come here. These are your boys yeah, yeah. from your band? Yeah, from my, from my backing vocals. <laughs> hello, backing vocals. Hello. hello. You should speak in harmony. You should go, hello, like that. How are you doing, Otto? Uh, it's amazing. It's a great time for me. Maybe the special day in my life because everything is so beautiful here. The beautiful people, the kind people. The beautiful country, that's all for me, and beautiful music. Yeah, you got great music coming up. I know, every music is so great, you know, from all countries, and I wish all the best for them. How do you feel about your act coming the, to the semi final? Uh, I think that uh, our rehearsals were great because of this great stuff which are working on it. Uh, the stage is great, so I will, I will take a fun from there. You, the right spirit. You participated in so many uh, reality TV shows, yeah. right? Song contest. So, A, are you addicted to the thrill, <laughs> to the contest? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it prepared you well for uh, the Eurovision Song Contest? Uh, that's a pretty, yeah, I'm prepared about that and I know how, what is the contest. So, I wish for our entries here to take fun, to make fun, <laughs> and uh, to be on the top and do everything you want. This is the music, this is the most biggest show about the music in the world. You are in the right place. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank feel you. So, so uh, your song is Keep On Going, so you can keep on going. This is Otto from Georgia, big Woo! round of applause. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, the party's really getting started here, and uh, I hear the biggest party is with the fans and the Dove. Is that oh. true? Uh, well, uh, Noah, I yes. have to say, I found my uh, next husband. Aww. His name? Oh yeah, his name Does is he know Jens. That? He's. Uh, his is name he... is Jens. Yes, that's right. correct. That's correct. Oh, he, I don't blame you. You pronounce it so sexy. Oh yeah, I'm. So, oh, he said I, I pronounce it uh, very sexy, and he's very sexy. That's it. I think uh, we can uh, finish here. Um, <laughs> he's from Out TV, which is uh, um, LGBT uh, TV, uh, like uh, yeah, from. Channel. Yeah. We're broadcasting in Belgium, the Netherlands, Sweden, um, Austria, Switzerland. Germany. And hopefully, and hopefully this year in Israel as well. Wow, yeah. And how do you enjoy in Israel? Well, it's awesome. It's great. It's my first time. It's not my first Eurovision, but it's my first uh, Israel uh, visit. So it's awesome. Great. And tell me, uh, were, were you afraid to come here? Tell the truth. Well, I, I had my concerns, to be honest. But uh, Israel proved that it's it's a lovely country. People are so friendly. They are so um, yeah helpful, and and I, I can recommend everyone to come to to Tel Aviv, really. And he promised me uh, he's gonna host me in Belgium for a fries for the Belgian fries, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're they're French, French, but they call it French fries. But actually, it's a Belgian delicatessen. But don't believe this guy doesn't it doesn't eat any fries. You see him, he never ate any any uh, French fries, yeah. And uh, maybe sometimes. Yeah. sometimes. And uh, you have a, a very uh, busy week now. Yes, of course. Uh, I want to interview uh, Durate. Um, right behind us and um, lots of other delegations as well so um, I'm busy 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 yeah okay uh, say thank you Jens uh, Noah I found my husband where is your husband Noah? clearly you found I feel like uh, I'm, I'm bothering you guys like you guys need to get a room yes, seriously please. we're all interrupting your party I'm sorry please. sure okay great but listen we have a lot to uh, to uh, do here and uh, the next contestant is about to come to the carpet. And she comes from far, far away from my other beloved country. I love Australia from Brisbane, from Brizzy. Bris Vegas, that's for you guys. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. Please welcome from Australia, Kate Miller Heideke, representing Australia. Australia was invited to participate in the Eurovision Song Contest four years ago. It was to commemorate the 60th anniversary. In the last four years, Australia always qualified for the grand final of the Eurovision She's Song the Contest. <laughs> Kate, how are you? Make it to the finals. Take it away. Okay, we, we have like. What a, what a great dress. I like dress. your dress. I like yours. <laughs> so you came all, all the way from Australia, and yeah. your act is, you, you are standing on, on what? On a pole? Like yeah, a, on a bendy pole. And you're, you're, it moves? That's right. It's yeah. really risky. Yeah, it is dangerous. But I find like just a little edge of danger gives it excitement to a performance. You're Australians, you like danger. Crocodiles. Yeah, bungee jumping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is you. Well, everyone uh, keeps wondering um, if Australia wins, where is the Eurovision going to be next year? So, do you have like something, a, a city that you like in Europe? Yeah, it, it's going to be in Paris. Oh, really? For wow. any specific reason? Just, I, I just love Paris, and I like to try to speak French badly. <laughs> Can you say something in French for me? Oui, je pourrais dire quelque chose en français. Merci bien beaucoup. Sûr, bien sûr. Merci beaucoup, madame. Uh, your, your singing is an, an opera style. Uh, I studied classical singing, but really I'm a pop singer and a songwriter. But in this song, you use your soprano really yeah, high tone. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. It's fun for me to just kind of play around, you know, be playful in my approach to songwriting and performing. Um, but I mean, at heart, I think this is a, quite a serious song, but the chorus gets a bit playful. How many Australians are going to wear a tiara during your song? Because I know this is your trademark. Yeah, well, we're just about to put out a little YouTube tutorial video of how to make it. It's actually really cheap. It's just made of like cable ties that you can buy from the hardware store. Um, 
yeah, it's amazing to me to look out and see people wearing their tiaras. Okay, here on the uh, on the orange carpet we have gravity. It's not <laughs> like zero gravity, so uh, we use are it well. Standing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we w just want to wish you good luck and enjoy your walk on the on the orange carpet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Big applause to Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, you got it. <laughs> and now, um, children and vegans should look away because our next band is very much into leather and BDSM in their act. No judgment, it's okay. Let's make some noise for Hatari from Iceland. <laughs> Yep, they're not disappointing this time as well. Ah, oh, I was about to wear that. That would have been so embarrassing. made its Eurovision debut in 1986 and is yet to win the contest. Maybe tonight. Look at that, uh, that outfit, look, my look God. Look at this, hey, brilliant, hey. brilliant. That's what we're waiting for. Hello, Hatari, come here, we want to talk to you. Uh, do you talk? Yes. <laughs> just look. We love talking and looking and all the rest. Well, I, I get it. just explain what's going on with, this, with the suits and the, and the clothes. Where do you get your accessories? Well, uh, this is uh, comfortable clothing, of course, that's practical for occasions like this. This is Tyran design, what I'm wearing, Icelandic designer. And we try to try to work with uh, local designers and uh, indie indie designers as much but as we can. Obviously, we're not used to this heat that is here in Israel. <laughs> so, so you just cut your so jacket I, in half. I just tore half of my jacket off, and of course. And yeah. I know that when you're not wearing these clothes, you have your special suits, right? Your like jumpsuits. Um, if I want one, how can I get it? Uh, merch dot okay. <laughs> you know it's not it's not, it's not cheap not cheap to bring down capitalism okay so. yeah I understand so some um, of you are family right we have you have some connection the two of our, us are cousins yep and who's uh, a couple the drum. Oh, okay. yeah okay. wow wow this is I got uh, can, can it can you just can, we need, come here we need to see the eyes. what is this what, what do you have in there. <laughs> okay, I think Your this is goodbye for now. Are strange. I think we need to say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you're brilliant. Have good luck and enjoy. What's your message with all this look? Well, our message, or we feel our performance or our song is a dystopia and it's a reflection on power and powerlessness, hope and hopelessness. And if we don't unite or form peace, then hate will prevail. Strong, strong words, message. brother. That's strong a strong words. message. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Hatari. Bye, Hatari. Good luck. Thank you, Hatari. That was impressive. Okay, I hear that Nadav is having an amazing time again with the fans. Is that true? Well, no, I'm having a good time. And we right. have a little surprise from the Belarus delegation with Zena. Zena, you know, uh, Zena and all the delegation. Now see them. They're making a, 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 a surprise, okay? Now. Whoa! Oh, the Belarus delegation. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Where? Come on, guys! Whoa! Beautiful! Whoa! Now, well, Zena, hello! Hi! How are you guys? Okay. Okay. Now, uh, just one, one thing. Uh, Zena, you're a very, very famous singer in Belarus. Very beautiful. And I know that uh, you sing the Moana song from the uh, movie Moana. Okay, so, but in a Russian. 
Yes. Okay. So let's do something together. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, I will sing the English and you will sing. Okay. See the line with the sky, with the sea. It calls me. Меня зовет. Thank you so much, Nadal. Thank you. That was amazing. Now, Victor Krohn is Swedish, but this year he's singing for. Welcome, Estonia! A storm like this can break a man like this. And when it all comes down, we'll be safe and sound. Estonia won the contest for the first and only time in 2001. Victor is spending his days now in Estonia and he tries to learn a new word in Estonian every single day. Hello, Victor. Hi, how are you? How are you? Uh, please stand with your face to the camera. It's important, we didn't rehearse that. <laughs> Between us, it's okay. Whatever I want, okay, thank you. Two microphones, look at that. Yeah. How do you Which feel? One? I feel very good. Like uh, I, I said to the guys in the car, uh, butterflies, but there's good ones. It's amazing. <laughs> Orange carpet, finally here. You guys, we're, we're cool, yeah. I, I, how the weather? How's the weather for you? Uh, well, I, I think I speak for both Swedish and Estonians that uh, this is uh, pretty good. We're enjoying ourselves very much. Not too hot. So you, you're, <laughs> you're picking Estonian language, one word a, a day. Yeah. What about Hebrew? Uh, well, that's uh, I know Toda Shalom. Maybe you can learn me a new one today. Toda Shalom. Yeah. Oh, that's a hard one, but let's try again. Behatzlacha. Behatzchala. It's it's a good enough. They're laughing yeah. here, so that's not good at all. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. That's, that's a good luck. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> so have good luck and take us by storm. I will. I will. See you on Tuesday, guys. Yay! Yeah. Victor. Thank you, Estonia. Now, from last year's host country, Conan Osiris, representing Portugal. a cell phone next to him. He hates them. Great, great to meet you, Conan. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you as well. Hi, guys. What's up? You're a very, very special person. Your music is really unusual. Would you imagine this song would represent a country in the Eurovision Song Contest? Um, not really, but here I am, right? <laughs> Hello. Lyrics is also Hello. really strong. I mean, you're, you're against cellular phones or smartphones? Oh, not against at all. I just think we need to use them in a better way for like our benefit and our, not our destruction. Yeah. So uh, did you like do a story today on Instagram or did you post something on Twitter maybe? Like I didn't post anything today so that you can see like I was working all day and then I came here and I still don't have my phone. So that's how connected I am to my phone. Well, other than your music, your outfits, both of your outfits are amazing. Can you explain a little bit? Um, I don't know. It's just Alves Gonçalves, a team of Portuguese designers. And yeah, they make us feel a little bit more like ourselves. Yeah. And how is this yourself? This is, uh, this is myself because sometimes I become like a malefic squid from the bottom of the sea and then I put ink on your face, you know? Okay, okay, okay. I That's scary. I That's love scary. The, artistic, <laughs> the artistic touch you give to everything and the dancing in your uh, act is really unusual, amazing That's and right. risky. Thank you fly. You so I do? Yeah. You fly and you, you, and you fall. And you yeah, crash on I the do. floor. And I always get up, you know? <laughs> you always get up. I always get up. You do it in Is rehearsal. Is it part of as your message? That you always get up. Yeah. Also, yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. Truly is. Yeah. So enjoy your stay on the, on the so orange carpet. So it's, a, it's an honor having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Huh? 
15 delegations have walked the orange carpet so far at the opening ceremony of the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest in Tel Aviv. And we move on to our next delegation, Greece. Katrina Duska from Greece. Originally from Montreal, Canada, she will be performing Better Love on stage this year. Since the semifinals were introduced, Greece has only once failed to qualify for the grand final. Great to have you here. Thank you. Great to be here. Are these are these real flowers? They are. And who made this for you? Wow. They smell like flowers. It smells like flowers. <laughs> you have such a fragile look and such a great voice. Thank you very much. Um, I mean, I think every woman is um, gentle and fierce at the same time, no? Yes, that's true. And you're a Canadian. Another Canadian who participated in Eurovision was Celine Dion. That's true. Do you think that you can do as well as she did? Ah, uh, well, I mean, I'm not going to compare myself to legends now. <laughs> uh, Why not? Why not? We are fierce. We are fierce. Uh, I mean, we're going to we're going to give it our all. We're going to give it our everything. How are you enjoying Israel? Is it like Greece a little bit? It is. I mean, the weather is uh, very yeah very alike very similar so did you have any chance to do here anything other than rehearsals not really <laughs> to be honest I work very hard I work a lot I'm a workaholic just tell, tell us how hard is it I mean you have rehearsal every day right uh, well our official rehearsals are not every day but um, I mean you know there are things that we are working on on a daily basis well enjoy your stay have a great uh, time in Israel, and you have Thank a long you. carpet Thank to you. go through. We are rooting for you. Okay, we have a very special surprise here. In 1979 contest in Jerusalem, Greece came in eighth with a song which became a classic, a classic, Socrates by Elfina. We got Elfina here. Socrates superstar. Give it up. Socrates superstar. Socrates 40 superstar. years ago. 40, 40 years ago. 40. What had changed in the Eurovision Song Contest since you competed? Everything. Israel also. <laughs> How did Israel change? Because you've been here a lot, right? Completely different. How? Uh, better. We get better with age. This is how you know. This is how we do it. You uh, feel. You f how do you feel coming back here again? I'm very exciting to say the truth, and I'm fine. I, I found people, uh, fair friends. Everybody loves you. They saw you. The fans Sorry, here my, saw you. My English are not. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Your English is better than my Greece. Uh, I'm proud because re they remember me. That's everybody so. remembered you. Elpida was walking towards me, and the fans just looked and went crazy. Give it up. You have a show at the park tonight or tomorrow night or later yeah, on? Tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. At the Euro Club. Yes, at the Euro Club. Right. Right. We're going to see you there. Thank you so much. Welcome Thank to Israel. You. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Good Welcome results. to Israel. Good results Thanks. for all the countries. And for Greece. And from Greece, okay. for sure. sure. Thank you. Thank you. And competing for the 10th time in the Eurovision Song Contest. They may be the smallest country, but they are mighty. Let's give them a big welcome. Sarhat, welcome from San Marino. Sahat is no stranger to this competition. He represented San Marino three years ago, but didn't make it to the finals. Maybe this is the year.
Since San Marino first began participating 10 years ago, the country has made it to the grand final only once in 2014. Hello, sir, hot. Hello, shalom, Israel. Wow, wow. that's impressive. You also know some uh, songs in Hebrew, right? Tonight there will be a surprise at the stage of Euroclub. Really? Exactly. I will be singing in Hebrew. What song are you going to sing? Uh, now I can confess. It will be a very nice song from Avi Toledano, Hora. Hora! Ahi imahe. That's the song. Can you sing a little bit for us right now? Ot masiv hasade she'azau nuaz Ot ha'aretz noset yevuna Ve'od yafim hem ha'leilot b'ichnan Terem ha'shem e'shola Great. Hora, do you know the dance as well? Exactly. Yeah, so let's do it. Come on. Okay, show me. Shalom, shalom, bab. So, hola. Imahe. Hola. Yeah, okay, we're making fun of ourselves. Okay. So I'm trying to stay uh, that was fun. elegant, but you are a dentist as well, right? Exactly. Do you have problems with your feet? No, <laughs> but in case I have, then I can come to you, right? I give you my address in Israel, yes. Wow. No, no. <laughs> and you're from this San Marino and you're also Turkish, right? I'm Turkish. I live in Istanbul. Yeah, and I'm representing San Marino. But do you feel like you're representing Turkey as well? Of course, Turkey is not officially represented this year, but with me, even Turkish flag is with us. Chantal, this is the San Marino in Turkey. Officially, unofficially, we are here in Israel. Great, so say na 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 to all the media here and enjoy your walk on the orange Thank carpet. You very much. Say na na na, it's, everyone has its na na na. Thank yeah. you. So Good luck. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. These are the countries who will be competing for the 10 spots in the first semifinals. There are more country spot is secure. The rest of the country spot is secure for the finals. And here they come, five times winner at the Eurovision Song Contest. This year, from France, we have Bilal Hassouni with the King Roi, meaning king, or as we say, Melech. Bonsoir, France. I'm not a rich, but I'm shining bright. Besides music, he talks about issues that affect his age group. Hi, oh, how are you? Hi there, <laughs> pleased to meet you. This dress is great. How long is it? It's uh, three meters long. Yeah, and you know, that's a story that goes on and on and on about your uh, wigs. Each wig has a name, so which one is it? This one is simply called Eurovision, but you can call her Vivi. Vivi, okay. Do you, do you also have a, a wig named after Tel Aviv, maybe? I have one wig called Tel Aviv, yes. It's at the hotel. <laughs> okay. So shorter, the longer. Missed, it's a bit shorter than this one, but it's long. She missed this uh, occasion, but you have a strong message in your song. <laughs> You're talking yes. about people trying to put you in a box. Please explain to us. Roi is a song uh, about self-love, about self-acceptance. It's a message that's very important to me. At first, when we wrote the song with Madame Monsieur, the group who represented France last year, it was just me presenting myself for people who might not understand me. But when the song came out, we realized that the message was way wider than me. It uh, went above me and that many people from all over the world were very touched by the message. And that became very important to me. And now you're climbing up the odds, you know, the Am bookings. I? Yeah, you're number five right now. Oh, I don't, I don't really watch any of I gave my phone away uh, when I arrived in Tel Aviv because I just want to be uh, 
enjoying my time here and not being only on my screen, screen, screen. You have a lot of fans waiting for you. Oh. Everybody wants a selfie. Everybody but, wants a but selfie. But you don't have Bilal. time for that. Oh. <laughs> so so just ask. enjoy the attention. Thank you. Thank You're going to get Good a luck. lot of love here. We love you. Bilal Hassani from France. Thank you, Bilal. And the next country from the Big Five was the first country to win the competition two consecutive times. We also did that. Say hola to Mickey from Spain. <laughs> This year is going to be performing a song, La Venda. Hello, Mickey. How are you? How are we doing? ¿Cómo está? Fine. The weather is so good, so I'm feeling like in Spain, you know. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. Uh, so, tell us about yourself. Well, my song is a really catchy and up-tempo song. Uh, we just want to transmit uh, happiness and the people to dance with me and with us because this is my team. Hey, here's your team. Hello, team. Come over. Come over. And we just want to have fun in the stage and make the people have fun also in their homes. Your song definitely makes makes everybody happier. Thank you. Uh, but uh, you you come from Barcelona, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm from Barcelona. So Barcelona lost last week to uh, Liverpool, right? <laughs> Come on, don't tell me that now. So you need to cheer up the, yeah, the yeah, Spanish yeah. people now. Of course, yeah, yeah. With La Venda, they will just uh, forget, forget everything. Forget yeah. about sure, everything. For you're sure. the, you're yeah, the yeah. representative of Barcelona to win this yeah. year. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, okay, so enjoy your time. Thank you. Mickey, it's such a pleasure having you all. Just take the orange carpet. Here it is. Thank you Thanks so a lot. And another surprise. Look who we got here, Eleni Ferrer, everybody. You look amazing. What are you wearing? Let me see, let me see. Thank you so much. It's two Greek designers, actually. Stelios Kudunaris with the Jean. I love it. So last year, you came in second to Neta, but I hear you guys are really good friends. Is that true? Yes, we are, and I really love her. And I'm very happy that she win, actually. Look where we are now. We are yes. in Tel Aviv and we're having so much fun. Yes, we are. This is not your first time here, right? No, no. I was uh, in November before. I have 11 concerts here. I'm coming. You have a lot of friends. You want to say hi to anybody? Yes, I have a lot of friends in Tel Aviv. In, in Tel Aviv? Who, yes. Do you know Kobe Marimi? Of course I know Kobe. Oh, He's my friend. So which song is your favorite? Come on, just between us girls. Okay, listen. I won't tell anybody, I swear. I, I love Cyprus and Greece. I love them. And they are amazing this year. Uh, I have a favorite one too. I love Italy. I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your slit just for a second. Let's just stand because we both have the best, best, um, best side. Is this side? So we're just going to run this interview like that, right? I really don't know. It's about the dress, actually. <laughs> they told me to stand like that. I have a head, uh, earpiece right here. So. What do you think is going to happen um, in the next... Have you always been a fan, by the way, of the Eurovision Song Contest? Oh, yeah, of course. I always was a fan and I always l loved Eurovision. But after last year, I'm a big, big fan of it. Got it. And you're going to be performing at the final, right? Yes, I will. I will. Can you tell us what you're going to be singing? I'm going to sing a huge song that everybody knows from Verka. Uh, yes. Where she goes. <laughs> should we, uh, should we f call Kobe? Are you guys ready? Okay, are you ready? Am I taking this over? Okay. Okay, thank you guys. <laughs> are we ready? You look amazing. Seriously, you look amazing. All right. Sorry, we have to party here for a minute. Okay, you guys. Let me hear you sing, come on.
here, but really, 40 delegations have traveled from all over Europe and from Australia to be part of this year's celebration and are already working the orange carpet right here at the opening ceremony of the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest. But there's only one person who did not need to stamp his passport. Actually, I think he lives right, like, walking distance from here. This is our own guy with the golden voice. Please welcome Kobe Malivi. Give it up to Israel. Israel was the first non-European country to enter the event. Alan Kofi. Israel's first win was 1978 with Abani B by Isaac Cohen. The Israeli delegation are walking down the carpet. Copy, 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 copy. come to me. This is gonna be strange, because we, we're both Hebrew speakers and we're gonna have this interview in English. Yeah, let's try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're here at home. I mean, actually, I live right here. I live two minutes walk from here, <laughs> one minute walk from here. So did you get dressed at home or you, you did the whole car thing? No, actually, we, I'm staying in a, at a hotel right now. So I, uh, yeah, came from there. <laughs> I, I saw your rehearsals uh, today. We, everybody put it up on the Instagram and Facebook and all the media in Israel is really thrilled. And you did really great. A lot of confidence. How does it feel? Uh, thank you, first of all. Um, actually, I think uh, I can do better, but that's why it's called rehearsal. And yeah, many surprises are waiting for you on stage. Have surprises on stage? Maybe or maybe not, and then this will be the surprise that there are no surprises, okay? <laughs> it's great having you here. Enjoy your stay at home. Enjoy the, the orange carpet. We love you. Thank you. I love you too. And it's amazing, Tel Aviv. It's amazing. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Zemadim, as a kef. Zemetoraf, as a kef. He said it's, it's great and it's mad and it's great. It's crazy. I, I, I love You can say some words in Hebrew if you want. We have a big audience watching you right now. Okay, we've been waiting for 20 years for Eurovision to come here to Tel Aviv, to Israel, and I'm so happy to be part of it. And Olech uh, Liot Eurovision Metoraf, Israel, Olech Liot Meshuga, as a kef, as a kef, Tiruma Korepo. Dan, you have to go You are someone. <laughs> Good luck, good luck. Kobe Merimi, Israel! Kobe! We love you, Kobe. So proud of you. Golden voice, you guys. Golden voice. This is our own Kobe Merimi representing Israel. <laughs> the first 20 delegations for the first semifinals just walked the orange carpet. So much talent, so much beauty, such diversity. Every one of them had the courage and dared to dream to be here. 
And I want you guys to dream at home, okay? All right. Well, thank you, Shani and Leon and Nadav and DJ Tomer G. Now, let's keep on going. of Maccabi Dan Tel Aviv. What we just heard was Yinon Yael featured Maya Buskila perform Rise Like a Phoenix, the winning song of Conchita. So, good evening, Europe. We are live on Con 11, the Israeli Public Broadcasting Corporation. I'm your host, Noah Tishby, and we are here at the opening ceremony of the 64th Eurovision Song Contest in Tel Aviv, Israel. The representatives of the countries competing in the second semifinals are on their way. These countries will compete for 10 spots in the finals of the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest. Each representative walking our orange carpet did something amazing. They dared to dream. They started in different places all over the world, on YouTube, at the church choir, and music schools, TV shows, or alone in their bedroom in a village or on an island. But everybody here made it to the biggest stage in the world, right here in my hometown of Tel Aviv. This is the third time Israel's hosting the Eurovision Song Contest, and for the first time, it is happening right here in my town of Tel Aviv. Now, it's a great honor to welcome the love, the happiness, and the unity, because this is what the Eurovision Song Contest is all about. At the top of the carpet, our team, Shani Nachshoni and Leon Rosenberg. And on the other side of the carpet, we have Israeli comedian, one of the funniest, Nadava Bekasis, where the delegations are on their way for the reception. And I think um, our next delegation from the second semifinal is coming. Are they ready? Are they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Can we continue? <laughs> 
All right, here comes the first delegation to take the stage on the second semifinals. This country was not part of the competition when we last hosted the event. Let's make some noise for Armenia! Armenia has not yet to win the Eurovision Song Contest, but has a strong record of qualifying. Haven't only missed a grand final one time. Hello. Hello. We're the first one in the second semifinal. It's it's really uh, exciting, right? I of course it's very exciting but it's also a very very big responsibility to open the whole show we're building uh, we, we, we're really expecting this how is your time in Israel how were rehearsals by now I'm having an amazing time in Israel, uh, and the rehearsals are going very, very good. I'm enjoying myself. Great, so have a great time on the orange carpet right here, and congratulations, have good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Hey. And next, the most successful country in the contest with a record total of seven wins and the only country to have won three consecutive times. Let's welcome Ireland. Every time I'm with somebody, I'm confusing him with you. Anywhere I go reminds me of the things we used to do. And I dreamed about the street where we this kissed out of the This is the 22nd delegation to walk the carpet. And guess what? 22nd is the name of their song. Baby, where are you? Representing Ireland, Sarah McTiernan. The 90s were Ireland's golden era in the Eurovision Song Contest. The country won the competition four times in five years. A record no country has come close to beating since. Welcome Ireland, everybody. Number 22. Baby, Sarah McTiernan is walking the carpet. Hello, hello, Sarah. What a pleasure having you here. It's a pleasure to be here. How are you? You're dressed like a mermaid. Thanks, that's the look I was going for. So. Swimming around the place. <laughs> How are you? It worked for you. Uh, your song is called 22. Uh, can you explain why? Well, the songwriters are 22. Their whole life, they saw 22 all around the place. Um, and then one night they were like, you know what, we're going to write a song. But it was 22, 22 on the clock. Um, and then they, yeah, they were like, oh my God, that's so weird. And I think they were sitting at table 22. And then they asked the barman, they were like, what's the address of this place? Like, and they were like, no, no, this is the bar name or whatever. And they were like, no, but what's the address? And then it was 22. So it's cosmic. It's really cosmic. And the, the cosmic thing is that when you were at age 22, you gave birth to a child. When I was 22, I gave birth to my beautiful daughter, Mia. So that's what makes the number even more special to me. So there you go. It's, it's a magic number for me. So. Yeah, but you can't, we can't give you 22 points. Only 12. But you can give me 12, though. Han Ireland! Woo! Enjoy your stay. Thank you, Sarah.
next country to walk the carpet. Still waiting for the big win since 2005. Say hello to Moldova! Sing the song Stay for Moldova. The song was written by a Greek songwriter. Yeah, hi, Anna. Whoa, what a color. The color of the dress. It's pink. What is it? Thank you, Fuxia. Fuxia. Great. So, how does it feel being here in the Eurovision Song Contest? It's a big dream. Mă simt foarte fericită, enorm de fericită aflându-mă aici. Este visul meu. She's very happy being here. Her dream has come true. You dare to dream. Tell us about the song. What does it say? Piesa Stay este o piesă de dragoste, o piesă romantică, o piesă despre luptă pentru dragoste, ca să nu lăsăm mâinile jos și să mergem doar înainte. The song is about love, about fighting for love, never give up and always fulfill what your heart says. I'm into that. And enjoy your stay on the orange carpet and in the Eurovision Song Contest. Anna from Moldova. Seriously, as soon as this lady walked down towards me, everybody here went nuts. <laughs> and she's doing it again. Okay. <laughs> she's walking to the audience. They're going crazy. Becca, okay. What, what is that on her head? Vidro. Vidro? Why didn't you say so? What's your name? My name is Noah. 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 No, no, no. Noah, if you don't know, you're a star. It's a star. Can you say Kohav? So I hear your mom is here. Where is he? Oh, Anna! Mom, my name is Mama. I love you, Vierko, and my daughter. I want to say that we're going to be in a hurry, because we're in a hurry. We're in a hurry right now. Because we're, we're, we're in it shopping, so we're, we're hurry. <laughs> I don't think we're getting paid for any endorsements here. <laughs> what do you have here? What is that? Champagne. What for? <laughs> Little bit relaxed for later. <laughs> I feel so underdressed. It's crazy. I, are we going to get drunk together? Sorry? Are we going to get drunk together later? <laughs> Raz, dva, tri. Zibén, zibén, alolo. Zibén, zibén. Zibén, zibén, alolo. Zibén, zibén, alolo. Zibén, zibén. Zibén, zibén, alolo. Dance. I love you. Show me show. Israel. Eurovision. Lechaim. This is real alcohol. I thought it was a joke. Okay, great. Are you going to be performing in the finals, right? And I will sing that song, Toy. Can you give us a little bit now? Can she give us a little bit now? Can she give us a little bit now? Yes. I not your toy. You stupid boy. Okay, I, this is.
crazy. Somebody's got to stop this party. We're waiting for the next car to arrive. You can stick around. You're fun. It's Switzerland. They hosted the very first Eurovision Song Contest in 1956, and they also won it that year. Um, this year, Switzerland, Luca Honey. Let's give our hands up to Switzerland. When she go low, when she go low, she go so low, she go so low. Oh, she know, oh, oh, she know, she got me dirty dancing. When she go low, when she go low, she go so low, she go so low. Oh, she know, oh, oh, she know, she got me dirty dancing. Fun. Oh, you're here? Great. We were just enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Luca is a singer and a dancer. He has his own clothing line as well. And just to add to the sexiness, he works in construction. Yeah. Just saying. Hosted the very first Eurovision Song Contest in 1956. It also won that year. There you go, that's an entrance. <laughs> Switzerland's second victory was 1998. The show already started here with you. Oh, I'm so, so ready, guys. I know the semi-final is on Thursday, but you started it on Sunday. Yeah, it's, it's amazing to start this whole experience right here, and I'm, I'm so happy and glad to be here, so. I love, I love your suit. You have one more for me? Uh, of course. I'll give it to you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, have a suit for each day, I guess. Tell us about your dirty dancing, what you're gonna be on stage. It's a really catchy song. Of course, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm so happy so far that, that you like the song. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and yeah, we, we, we will have a lot of party on stage, a lot of dancing and singing together, and a lot of good vibes, yeah. <laughs> Bring up good vibes. You work in constructions? Oh yeah, that's true. I was a bricklayer. Yeah. A bri you Is that right in English? Bricklayer, yeah. You're putting the bricks together. Putting the bricks together for one house. <laughs> yeah, that was my start. <laughs> and then you quit. And then, yeah, then I quit that with 16 and then I released my first album and then I did and won German Idols and then that was my start. And then it's now. We're here. Then it's now. I'm here in Taylor with to my great, my biggest experience. Yeah, in my whole career. So I'm so happy to do that. So go ahead and do your dirty dancing on the orange carpet. We're waiting to see you on stage on Thursday. Second semi-final. Luca from Switzerland! go to the auditorium and we'll have Dana International live. Now all the delegations walk the orange carpet and we'll meet at the Halatobut for the opening ceremony. The special act of the Eurovision icon, Dana International. And the next artist, business partners, music collaborators, and a couple in real life. We love that. Please welcome Latvia. <laughs> Latvia, the duo Carousel. The song That Night, written by Sabine Latvia. Latvia won the competition once in the past. Hello to you, Carousel from Latvia. How are you doing? 
We're doing good. We are banned, Carousel, not Duo Girls. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, uh, but you two are a couple, right? It's a romantic trip or a business trip? It's a music trip. Musical trip, guys. Music. Exactly. It's all about music and love, of course. Yeah, well, it's about the love. You know, it's a competition. So uh, how much is it important to you to win? Uh, we want to do our best, yeah. We want to be at as best as we can. And uh, we're really excited about it. And we're really happy to be here. You already, did, you already did your rehearsal on stage. How does it feel? The big stage? It's a big stage, isn't it? Uh, it feels perfect, yeah. Feel, feel like we meant to be there. I believe you. So here it is, the orange carpet. Have good luck in the competition in the second semi-final. Great to see you here. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. And here comes the next delegation. Now, this next country is yet to score a first victory in the Eurovision Song Contest. Esther will try to do it with her song on a Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, Romania. Welcome, Romania. Romania's 2019 Eurovision Song Contest representative is 25-year-old Esther Pioni with the song On a Sunday. <laughs> Esther is a Romanian comedian, singer, and songwriter. Are you a bride today? Oh, um, I'm trying. I have my tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you know, this is like henna, okay? Here in Israel, some of us, we do yes, a henna ceremony. I've heard that, I've heard that, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. nice. Well, I know that you were here to film your postcards during Purim, right? Yes, yes. How was it? Well, it, it was awesome. I had so much great time here. Uh, the Israelis are so nice. <laughs> uh, I had so much fun at the Mount Hermon. I've danced in the snow. And how many people asked you about your name and Purim? So many. <laughs> because, yeah, like, the queen. Yeah, it's our queen. Your song is called On a Sunday, and here we are on a Sunday, and you're in the Eurovision Song your Contest. Sunday? Would you believe it? Oh, yes, I, I, I woke up uh, in the morning and, uh, oh my God, today is Sunday. <laughs> and today is the orange carpet. <laughs> so it's a good Sunday? Yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> I wish I had a Sunday fudge to give you right now to take away to the orange carpet. Thank you. Enjoy the attention <laughs> and have Thank a you. great show. Bye. Now let's get a little Danish this year. Denmark sent us the talented Leonora. Her song, Love Is Forever, will be sung in English, Danish, German, and French. Give it up to Denmark. Love is forever. country that won and wasn't among the founding countries of the contest. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you enjoying your time here? Well, uh, besides the rehearsals, we've been seeing some of, uh, of Tel Aviv. Uh, we went on a cruise on Memorial Day and it was very beautiful. On Independence Day, yeah. Um, you are performing on a very, very big chair. Is it scary? No, no not at all. I have 
my friends up there, so it's okay. <laughs> and what was the idea behind this uh, giant chair? Well, it's a happy chair. <laughs> you know, there's space for everybody, and that's kind of the message of the song. But love is forever, and it's something that is in everyone all the time. Thank you so much. <laughs> my, my two girls really like your song. They sing it all day. Uh, really, so they want me to say to you that they love you. And enjoy your orange carpet. Say hi to enjoy. them. I will, I will, and we'll have a selfie soon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Enjoy the attention on the orange carpet. Bye. Can I? Can I? This place is getting fuller by the minute. It's amazing. The delegations are here, the press is here. So much fun. Now, Sweden is getting closer and closer. Last time Sweden came to visit in Israel, they won the contest with Take Me to Your Heaven by Paula Nilsson. Could Israel be the lucky charm of Sweden? John Lundvik will try to win in Israel again. Please welcome Sweden. John Lundvik is placed very high up there in the pole with the song Too Late for Love. Sweden took the grand prize six times, just behind Israel Ireland's seven wins. Okay. <laughs> Do you think that uh, the song contest will return to its capital next year? Uh, if I could have the biggest dream in my heart, I would wish so, yes. But uh, you never know what happens. <laughs> There are a lot of great songs, so you never know. You wrote uh, the English song as well, the United Kingdom song. Yeah, I mean, if you can have two, why not? <laughs> <laughs> so would you, you consider have to win? chances to win, actually. I mean, I'm, I'm here because this is like the greatest time of my life. So basically, if... I and the mamas have fun. We, we're happy. We really are. Do you have a special uh, something that you will remember from Israel from your time here? I would say the people, because everybody's so kind and so service-minded. So we will be back. Trust us. Yeah. You, you know, right now in the odds, in the booking, you were you were second. <laughs> why? Why do you do that? No, that's crazy. I mean, that's that's amazing. But um, we'll just try to not focus on that and just go for it. You're gonna have Thank fun. you so much. You're gonna be great. Enjoy your time Enjoy your on time. the orange carpet. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers for Sweden! Oh, well, uh, I'm here with Doron uh, Madali. Hi, Chag Sameach. Chag Sameach. He's the let's say he's the composer. He's the composer of Toy. He's a composer of a lot of songs, Israeli songs to the Eurovision. And uh, Doron, how is it? How is it? You brought it here. I don't feel like uh, enthusiastic. No. Come on. I am the happiest man in Israel today. Yeah, he's got into the situation. <laughs> yeah, and he's the one. Because of him, we are here now. And uh, uh, who is your uh, favorite song? La Vendaya Cayo. Espana. Espana? Uh -huh. Not the Israeli song, come on. No, Espana. Okay. Espana. Okay, it's a very, a very beautiful song. And uh, tell me, what, what do you think of Espana? And, uh, and uh, what do you think Kobe will... will... Kobe is going to be a big surprise. 
To all the people that think he's going to be last, he's not going to be last. I think all the bets. No, gonna, he's not. All the bets are going to explode in the face of all the audience. Everything's going to change. Everything. We're going to say good luck to Kobe and good luck to you, Doran. Thank you. Because of you, we're here. Thank you, guys. Back to you, Noah. And next we have Austria, who won twice and gave us the famous bearded drag queen Conchita with the power ballad Rise Like a Phoenix. This year, Austria <laughs> sent Panetta, who will sing for the country. Here it comes, Austria! <laughs> and I'm talking about you. says that her stage name comes from the fact that when she wakes up in the morning, her eyes looks like a panda bear. <laughs> hi, hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You, you look so relaxed. Yeah, of course. Like, Tel Aviv is so beautiful. How can one not be relaxed <laughs> like in here? Good Every answer. rehearsal and a lot of tension towards the semi-final. How do you feel? Good. Yes, it feels good. I'm, I <laughs> like, must ask you about the color of your hair. Yeah. Why is it blue? There is no specific reason to it. <laughs> really? Because I, I was hoping that you say, well, I came to Israel, so the color of the flag is blue and white, or something like that. That would have been a better answer. Thanks for that. You could have told me that before. Next time. Next time I say that. <laughs> because you wear white and everything. I normally wear black, but today I thought, like, let's be a little shiny, a little bright. Like, it's night, so you need a little sun. So you're enjoying your time here in Tel Aviv? Of course, it's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. Look at all the photographers waiting for you. Yeah. How does it feel now? Um, yeah, my cheeks hurt like already, <laughs> like right before it begins. <laughs> so if I, over smiling, if right? Over smiling. So if I don't smile, like don't be mad at me. Like the next one will be a smile. <laughs> Just give, <laughs> give okay. a big smile and enjoy your time here. We're happy to have you here. Enjoy Cheers the orange carpet. Panda. And Germany is coming up next. Willkommen, as they say. Germany took part in the Eurovision Song Contest 62 times, more than any other country in the history of the contest. The duo is called Sisters with their song, Sisters. And if any of you wondering, they're not sisters, just really good friends. Welcome in Germany. Charlotta and Loretta are the duo, sisters. Please come with us, please. Hello! You have so many fans in here, did you imagine? Dude, they're so cute, I can't believe it. So many people love you, sisters. Excuse me? So many people love you in here. They're so cute, hello. So come, come, come we want to talk to here. us. 
on the wall. I know that when you came here to shoot your postcards, you enjoyed some of Tel Aviv's nightlife, haven't you? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. We did. It was close to here. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was here. Here was the bar we went to, and then we also went to a pizza store, and it was really oh. crazy. Like, they were throwing around salad and stuff. <laughs> it was with music, crazy. with music, it was really, really partying that night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. what do you think about the nightlife in Tel Aviv after this ex that experience? Well, you know, it, it reminds me kind of of Berlin, only with way more good food and way more better weather. And with the people, they are very, they have a lot of energy and we love it. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Great. It's just yeah. like the most do, craziest do, party scene I've ever, I've ever yeah. had. So wait till you see what kind of party we are uh, preparing for you right now. Just one question about your song. You have a strong message for women, right? About sisterhood. Yeah. Can you tell us, please? Yeah, it's about what you should feel for other women. Because we grow up in a world where there are a lot of jobs for men. But, you know, we think when women work together, we can get a lot stronger. Yeah. Girl power, girl, girl power. power. That's my sister. favorite power. Uh, girls, I wish you all the luck. Go ahead and enjoy the orange carpet. Go, sisters, go. Achayot, achayot. They know how to say achayot. Thank you. Good luck. I have four sisters, so I really relate to that. <laughs> the next country is Croatia with Roko, which didn't only dare to dream, he dares to fly. Part of his outfit will have giant wings. Roko's song, ladies and gentlemen, Croatia. I dream of love. finished twice in the fourth place last time it was 20 years ago right here in Israel hey Rocco hi. hi how are you I'm great can you show us the the wings on the back of course, there are always wings with me you see yeah okay. that's beautiful that's beautiful okay. that's beautiful are you flying do you feel like flying with those wings of course, with those wings, I feel I can I can do anything, and I have these two guardian angels. They both have wings. You have your angels so, with you. We are the dream team. <laughs> you are the dream team. Yeah, we are the dream team, and our song is called "The Dream," so it matches. And uh, the slogan this year is "Dare to Dream." Dare to Dream. So it's such a beautiful coincidence, and this guy here wrote the song for us. He is the best. I know that uh, he also sings in Hebrew, right? You sang okay, in let's, Hebrew. Let's go over there so that. everybody can see you. Uh, what's your dream then, Rocco? Well, this is actually one of my biggest dreams uh, for sure. But uh, my dream is, of course, uh, with these wings to awake, uh, you know, kid in everyone and that purity and innocence. And with these wings, I think that all of us want to have wings and to fly to a better world, to a better place. That's great. I can't say anything about uh, after that. The better place is uh, on the way. Yeah, you have a big party waiting up to you over there. So Rocco, good congratulations and good, good luck. Bye-bye. Next to arrive will be Malta. This year Malta sends us a familiar face. Michaela, who two years ago tried to compete in the pre-revision, but didn't make it to the finals. Let's cross our fingers for her this year. This is Malta. Michaela has only just turned 18 years old, so she can drink and tell me legally. Malta has never won the contest, although it has twice finished second and twice finished third. Hi, hi, hi. Come join us. How are you? Very good, thank you. 
you're excited to be here tonight. Very much, very, very excited. I know that you guys have a, um, a dance, right? That you are uh, teaching your comedian dance. Yes, um, it's, uh, it's an African type of dance and, you know, it's called the chameleon dance, so we're using it, you know, in our chameleon Can we have a little demonstration of it? Yes. How okay. does it go? I will move. I want to, I want to learn, sorry. Show us the chameleon I dance. done by the dancers, I think, so. Show us the dance, how's the dance going? I want to, uh, Leon One, must six, learn. Seven, eight, go. And, uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> again, I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that. Okay, I'll, I'll, okay, that I'll, looks good. I'll catch that up. That looks good. That's, <laughs> that's so amazing. You, you can dance over it on the orange carpet, <laughs> and uh, the performance, the big performance, waiting to you inside, and it's about to start, so we have to rush. <laughs> but still, the photographers are waiting for you. So take a photo and go ahead. Best of luck. Joining us on the red carpet is Lithuania. Lithuania will be represented by Jorgi Valenko, who took the stage twice as a backing vocalist. This year, he will be the lead vocalist. Here is Lithuania. Lithuania's greatest achievement in the Eurovision Song Contest was in 2006 when it won sixth place. When Yorgi isn't on stage, he can be found working at an IT company and what he describes as his dream job. Curious. You look uh, really excited. Yes, I am excited. I'm happy to be here. A beautiful people, beautiful event, and a beautiful country. So, what could be better? Leon, do, do you know what he did for his postcard? What? Do you want to tell him? I jumped out of an airplane. I thought you were running with lions for real. Close, close. <laughs> you get to meet a lion before? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Just to be sure that I know what I'm singing about. <laughs> So, were you scared at all when you jumped uh, out of the airplane? No. No. Totally not, because my song says that you gotta be free. You gotta stop being afraid. So this is what I did. I overcome my fear, and I just did it. Were you afraid ever to sh to sh to be on a Eurovision Song Contest and perform in front of all those people? Afraid? No. Excited? Yes. <laughs> Very good. So you can run with the photographers right now. <laughs> it's on like the lions. Carpet. Go ahead. Run. Very similar to lions. Enjoy your evening. And here comes Russia. For Russia, we'll sing Sergei Lazarov, who had done it for Russia three years ago. Made it to third place. Please welcome Russia. On the scoreboard, the betting world, very high up there. Russia won once in the Eurovision Song Contest in 2008 with a song, Believe. I think Are this you? is a great this is a great time to scream. Look who joins us! Wow, what a jacket. Philip Kerkorov. Uh, Amazing Hello. jacket. Yes. <laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, I'm so happy to be back. That's the scream I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for having us. It's amazing um, open ceremony and uh, we're excited about the beginning. Uh, this is my team. Wow, the dream team, a right? Team, a Russian delegation. So we're happy to be here. I know that your song is uh, talking about uh, childhood fears and childhood dreams, right? So 
Yes, uh, also about it and about uh, difficult moments that we all have in our lives and we have to fight with all our fears and, and uh, we have to leave them in the past and um, move forward. So what would Sergei of today say to little Sergei? Well, believe in yourself and uh, go forward whatever happens with you. Are you happy? Are you? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy to be back at the Eurovision Song Contest. Finally, I'm here. Yeah. We have a huge star standing uh, beside us. He gets all the attention now. Isn't it strange? No, it's so strange. We are. I'm a composer of the songs uh, that uh, Sergei will re represent in the Eurovision Song Contest. And for me, it's an amazing moment again in this land to visit with such a great contest, great event. It's a music Olympic games, you know? And uh, I know so, so many friends here, so many uh, singers. I sing in the Hebrew, by the way. In the, uh, so, of course, I know some, <laughs> Cano Laditi, you know? Yeah, we I do mean, know. I was born here. Yes, Cano Laditi, Cano Nduli Eladai. Wow. The people of Israel love you so much. Oh, we so hope that Israel will vote this year 12 points for us. <laughs> I think I... Song. We, you we you do that. have a lot of fans this. here. You deserve this. You do have a lot of fans here, and they are all waiting to meet you. So have the best of luck. Thank you very much. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank and you. Noah, I know that you have a surprise for us. Noah, Noah has a surprise for us. Noah, can you hear me? Now, all of this here, everything we see here, started with a dream of one woman. Exactly one year ago today, the same day in 2018, she won the 2018 Eurovision Song Contest. After she introduced the world to the Kulalu, she introduced Prince William to Kapala Alechem. The meaning of the words Basa and Sababa, she has a new amazing hit song. Nana Banana, please welcome the one and only Neta!
largest amount of views on YouTube for a Eurovision song in the history of the competition. And you know why? It's a smash. Exactly a year ago today. Meta and the one Madali who wrote Toy, hugging it out on the carpet. Wrote it with Stav Begel. And here she is. Coming our way. Incredibly inspirational woman. I can't wait to actually talk to her. If she ever finds a way. Oh, I love her. I don't know if she can hear me, but Neta! 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 I'm trying. The audience is going crazy here! Crazy! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Neta! Boya Nakapara! Like! Wow! 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 Okay. We've waited for you, give me a hug. Look at this woman! Last year, a year ago, today, you brought this here. This is all because of you. How are you feeling? This is overwhelming. I, I, didn't, I didn't get it until right about now. This is insane, everybody's here. We brought everyone. <laughs> They're saying it's all because of me. Thank you. It is because of <laughs> Listen, it seems like Nana Banana is one of the most personal songs you've written. Is that true? Is it more personal for you? It's talking about expectations. It's talking about like being afraid about what you have in your heart. People expect you to do stuff. You gotta be comfortable, but you gotta be comfortable in the world, not just inside your home. You don't have to be afraid to do what you really wanna do. Tell the world, Nana Banana, do what you wanna do. That's it. Everybody needs a Netta pill. Are you ready to hear the reason we're here, other than just you, the, your music? Are you ready for it? Yes! <laughs> Give it up to... Toy! Are you guys ready? Let's hear it! <laughs> 
ouch. Look at me, I'm a beautiful creature. I don't care about your modern time preacher. Welcome, boys, too much noise. I will teach ya. Pum, pum, pow. Pum, pum, pow. Hey, I think you forgot that I play. My teddy bear's running away. The Barbie got something to say. Hey, 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 hey. My son leave me alone. I'm taking my Pikachu home. You're stupid just like you're smart. from Albania. The highest score was in 2012. Please welcome Albania. flag. Uh, do you want to say anything about that? Yeah. If the life is blue, you can choose another color from the rainbow. We enjoy your vision. We enjoy life because life is like a rainbow. Yes. You're a big TV star in, uh, in your country, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. How does it feel to come and compete against uh, so many people? I am so excited. Uh, I am so proud because I represent Albania in the big stage like Eurovision. Do you want to say something about maybe the message in your song? What, what do you think is the strongest message from, from your song? It's about immigration. It's about uh, everyone because uh, it's not a uh, personal uh, issue. It's a global too. Don't for forget yourself. Don't forget your roots, your family, your identity. Wow, that's identity. Strong that's words. The name of the story. Uh, thank you so much. Enjoy the orange carpet and good luck. Thank you too and success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you. The next delegation to step on the orange carpet will be from Norway. This year, we have Kano and their song, Spearwell, <laughs> will be the first time. A Samai language will be in the world's biggest stage. Give it up to Norway. I hear you calling me at night.
Alexandra Rotan is the singer, songwriter, and singer Tom Hugo. Norway has won the contest three times in the past. Dress. What do you want to tell us about what your is outfit? This? What is this? The outfit. My outfit. This is a traditional Sami clothing from uh, Finnmark, Kano. Okay. So this outfit tells me I'm where I am. So this is from Kano. Yeah. And it's also a very strong you. message in your song, right? Uh, absolutely. Uh, it's actually about uh, how uh, the spirit animal or the spirit helping spirits can help you go through amazing things and we all have been told that we're not good enough me for being gay in the pop industry Alexander for not fitting in the right form and uh, and Fred for being Sami uh, and now we are here we're at the Eurovision in Tel Aviv we're so excited can where you... everyone is acceptable yes. and uh, you can be anything you and want I just want to understand what do you say there in the in the song I say I say uh, show me the lights in Sami how do you pronounce it in, in Sami? Uh, Chaya the Joker. Chaya the Joker. Chaya the Joker. Show us the light. Okay, show us the light on the orange carpet. Good luck. Kai now. The next country is the Netherlands. Duncan Lawrence from the Netherlands. And now, Duncan Lawrence from the Netherlands. Listen, this is a great song. Thank you. And you know what's the what's the ranking in the bookings right now? The odds. I know. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I know. I yeah. know. It's a winning game. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks so much. Do thank you remember you. the last time you were here? Um, yeah, recording the postcards actually. Yeah. Do you remember us meeting? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. What that happened? That was so fun. That was yeah, over that there. Yeah, that was actually that over was, here. We were talking like about all sorts of things, but especially about how beautiful Tel Aviv is. And, and it's still beautiful. It's still beautiful, and your song is still beautiful. Yeah, and I have to ask you, does it put you under pressure that you know that so many people expect you to win? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I did get that question, yeah, yeah. No, um, it, it, of course, where there are expectations, there is pressure, but I see it as a big compliment. Um, it's the biggest compliment when you can get when you participate for your vision. Yeah, people would actually love to see me win. That's crazy. Yeah, so really excited. Big compliment. Still two feet on the ground because anything can happen. Yeah, but and you, and you fit in with the orange uh, color right now as a Dutch person. <laughs> yes, it's an <laughs> orange carpet, people. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's kind of home, right? It's now. home. Yeah. It's home. So enjoy your home. Enjoy it's your new home, home for the next week. Toda, toda. Good luck. Okay. Okay, okay. So now we want to go to Nadav. Nadav, can you hear me? Oh my God, that's us. Oh my God, it's me. I don't believe that. Oh my God, Mom. Oh, you with me, Kobe. I'm with you, yeah. That's you. This is Kobe. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. How are you, Nadav? I'm good. How, are you? I, 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 how long are you here in Israel? Uh, for 27 years now. Oh, it's fun. It's so nice. You, you like the weather? I love the weather, oh. especially this time of the year. It's amazing. Yeah. Did, did you, did you like the Israeli food and the Israeli cuisine? C cuisine. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. How is it? How is it? I love food in general. <laughs> of course, I love my mama's food. So yeah, I think it's the best. Yeah. And uh, how is the feeling? Uh, um, less than a week. Um, I'm I'm so excited about it. I'm nervous and I'm excited and, and I'm happy and I'm emotional and, and everything. I mean, look look at this place. Look what's happening here. Nah. I live right there 
and so many people are here in my home, literally in my home. It's, it's amazing. You want to sing something? No. No. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave this. You, you want to sing something? <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not that good in, in songs. You want, I, I don't know. Stop it. Yeah. Let's let <laughs> not dis let's not destroy. Uh, so uh, what will I mean? What can I wish you? The first place. Uh, you can do that. Yes. So I'm gonna wish you the wish first me, place. No, wish me the best. I'm gonna wish you the best. And you look so good, so good. Yeah. And you're the one. You're the only one who didn't bring the the big platform shoes that everyone here has them. I Me know. and you, we, we are the only people who, uh, I mean, who didn't wear that. I know, because I think we know the weather here and we, we're not used to it. We used to walk with sandals and shorts. So it's like formal, but not too formal. <laughs> That's the Kobe I like. Uh, back to you, Noah. And uh, good luck, Kobe. Thank you. Okay. And next to come is North Macedonia. Tamara will sing for the country. Her song is Proud. Make us proud, Tamara, and welcome North Macedonia. since she was six years old. Comes from a family of musicians. Her sister represented the North Macedonias five years ago. Wow. wow, you picked up wow. a lot of Hebrew. Mehamemet. <laughs> it's amazing. I really enjoy it. These are my backing vocals. Hello, yeah. hello. Just Listen look out for the dress. Yeah, yeah, I should. Yeah. I should. Sound, there's no spell. <laughs> uh, you wrote your song for your daughter, is that right? No, uh, I didn't write the lyrics. Okay. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Yes. Hi to my daughter, I love her. Okay, so it's for your daughter. Okay, I'm so oh, sorry. This is for my daughter. Also. It's for everyone's daughter. Of course, uh, proud is for everybody actually, not only for our daughters. So, so you should uh, now walk proudly <laughs> on the orange here, carpet. Proud. Enjoy your Vote stay. For us, number 17. Have a great time. Yay! Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Azerbaijan with Chinkies, who will perform Truth. Let's welcome Azerbaijan. to Baku, Azerbaijan. The Eurovision Song Contest 2012 took place in Baku. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Uh, we please do not shut uh, shut up about what we're gonna ask you. Yeah. I will try. You know how to sing in Hebrew, right? Yes. A specific song, right? I like Hebrew. Okay, so can you please sing a little bit in Hebrew for us? Okay. Shufetzevkan, shuvapachetzkan. Wow. Wow. 
בשוב שתיקה, מותשת וזרוקה, בדמיוני, האור נדם, דמעות של דם, סופות לי, וגרון. וואו, 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 This is what was very difficult, really. <laughs> <laughs> the singing I, I spent, or the language? Yes, I spent it like five years for, for this song. <laughs> wow, why do you like Hebrew? Uh, because this is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, this is going to be really easy. You're walking the orange carpet. You stand why every time. Orange? the. Why orange? I asked the because same question. Because of Nobody my answered. heritage. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's okay. the reason. It's Thank fine. you so much. Thank you. Um, enjoy the, red, the orange yeah, carpet. Let's go. Yeah, I did it again. Azerbaijan is the last country to take the stage on the second semi finals, competing for those 10 coveted spots in the grand final. The three more countries to come from the three big five, whose place is secured for the grand final. Now let's welcome Mahmoud from Italy! Betting polls are looking very good! Here is Italy! We have several questions. Uh, what? <laughs> sing, why don't you sing? Sing. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you're great. It's a great song, but it has, it has a sad story in it. Yeah, no, a, a common story, not a sad story, because uh, uh, the theme is uh, really common now uh, these days. Uh, he talks about the, the title of the song is Sol de Kesef. Pero, uh, but, Who taught uh, you that word? Kesef is Hebrew uh, for, for money. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Sol is money in Italian. I uh, taught him that. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, the song doesn't speak about uh, money in a concrete way, but how money can change relations inside of a family. That's the fact. How do you feel here in Tel Aviv? I'm really happy because the weather is so warm here, you know? And I'm happy with the sun and like this. So you have fun here, right? Yeah. In these days, uh, with the rehearsals, I don't, uh, didn't have so much time, so, so much free time. But tomorrow uh, will be my first free day. So. Yeah. What are your you plans for tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, maybe I go or to Jerusalem or to the Dead Sea. I don't know. So enjoy it either way and enjoy the orange carpet. Thank you, thank you very much. Mahmoud, it's been a pleasure having you. Thank you very much. Another country who doesn't dread the semifinals is United Kingdom that will step foot on the carpet any minute now. This year, Her Royal Highness sent us Michael Rice. Welcome, United Kingdom. It's bigger than Presenting Sweden tonight. The United Kingdom is third in the winning table with five wins in the history of the contest. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm really good. It's really exciting. Yeah, definitely. It's just an amazing experience to be here. So. Where is where is your accent from? I'm from Hartlepool, uh, near Newcastle, in the United Kingdom. That's 
that's your yeah, <laughs> accent. You, it's hard to understand your accent, so please I'll speak slow. Yeah. Are you enjoying Tel Aviv? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. The weather's beautiful. It's just crazy to be here. And uh, is your experience in reality TV, uh, did it help you here? Yeah, definitely. It's built my confidence up. Um, the support and love across Europe and Tel Aviv and Israel itself is just incredible. Oh, okay, and uh, uh, I know that one of the writers for your song is also competing yes. this year. So are you like frenemies? No, definitely not. <laughs> he's like one of my best friends. He's given me the best advice. He's been in the industry a lot longer than me, so he's been an incredible person to have on the team. You have a great voice. How did you work on it? I don't know. I've just been busking on the streets. Um, <laughs> yeah, just singing wherever I can, really. So, yeah, it's just amazing to be here. It's just, I'm so humbled for this opportunity. So have a nice time here and congratulations. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the orange nice to meet carpet. You. Thank you. It's bigger than us. It's bigger than us. Thank you so much. Country, the last delegation to walk the orange carpet in the second semifinals. Now, I don't know if you're picking up on this back home, but it's insane over here. I mean, the, the, the delegations, each representative is coming over to the fans, they're screaming. The fans here know every single song. It's so inspiring and so incredible. I hope you can hear me over them yelling. Bilal came over, every single representative came over, and it was absolutely, there you go. There you go. The first semifinal and the second semifinal, 14, 16, and 18 of May. John Ludwig is here. And they sing all the songs. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. We're looking back at all the delegations walking the orange carpet. We're gonna move inside in a few minutes for the second part of the opening ceremony with live performances. Dana's gonna be there, Dana International. This is it. All the delegations are on the orange carpet. One of them is going to be the winner of the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest. They will announce the winner at the grand final. And now, the people are going to announce the winner on the grand final. Your hosts for the 2019 show, Madame and Monsieur, Parafaeli, Erestal, Lucia Yov, and Asi Azar.
Oh my God, I can't. You guys look amazing. Okay, so, Bart, I'm gonna start with you. So I heard, okay, that you've never watched Eurovision before. Um, no, I have, two days ago. There you go, what do you think of the Eurovision now? Actually, uh, I have to admit, now I feel like I missed out all these years. This is incredible. The fans are insane. It's a, it's a whole culture that I've, I've missed out. Okay, well, you still got time now. Erez? Yes. I hear that you are a huge Eurovision fan. I'm, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm, I'm thinking about the welcome you gave Bar and then the welcome you gave Asi. And, and to me, you said, oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> all right, let's try this again. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> okay, so Lucy, welcome. Are you excited about this? So excited, I, I am speechless. <laughs> now, what is, um, what to you, what was the thing that you found out about the Eurovision that you didn't know about before? Well, I think last year, the thing I found out about Eurovision is that before the real Eurovision, there's like a whole, you know, the whole performance, it happens the day before. And this, it, it took me by surprise. I didn't know it happened. Do you have a, do you have a favorite song? Yes, but I won't tell you. Okay, we're not gonna ask. Excuse me, I'm moving to this guy. Hi, uh, first of all, you're having a good year, a good, good, uh, good day. Hamsa, Hamsa, Hamsa. Just FYI, Asi show that he wrote, he's also a writer, uh, got picked up for a, a show. Yes. On a little network called in, in uh, ABC. No, no big deal, no big deal whatsoever. Now you, um, you chose to donate the salary that you're getting here tonight for the LGBT, IGI, the Young Youth LGBT Union. Why the salary from this particular job? I, I like the fact that this is money that's coming from the state and I give it back to the people. And after sometimes the state doesn't like to fund IGI, so I'm helping them by taking the money and give it that's karma. Whatever needs to happen, happens, right? <laughs> okay, guys, are you, uh, are you excited? Do you want to walk inside? Because there's a show coming up. You ready? This is crazy. Yeah, we're so excited. We go way back. We just met tonight, right? <laughs> okay, and give it up to Not Tishbi, please, which is the be really the best host in Israel, which I love. She's my sister. That's true. That's true. All right, you guys, thank you so much for everyone. Thank you, Shani and Leon and Nadav and everybody around and all the team. You guys were amazing. Let's go. Dana's waiting. Let's go. Let's go back to 41 delegations and all the songs. I'll see you guys inside. Everybody go back to the songs. 41 songs for the Eurovision Song Contest. I'll see you guys inside.
Contest in Tel Aviv, Israel, and this is the moment we all dare to dream about being here. So let the Eurovision Song Contest begin! <laughs> we are live on Khan, the Israeli Public Broadcasting Corporation, and Eurovision.tv. So let's say big thanks again to Demente. Thank you. All right, you guys. Okay, 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 okay. Hi, all the delegation. Hi! Look at who's sitting right here in the auditorium. Every single delegation of the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. We're so happy to have you here. Now, you do realize that um, someone in this room is going to be the winner of the 64th Eurovision Song Contest, right? Right? Okay, great. No, no big deal. Okay, we're very excited. Thank you again to Netta. Thank you, Netta. We're all here for you because of you. You're the reason we are all here. We're all here because of you, so thank you so much. All right, so the orange carpet just ended, and one thing is for sure. Everybody looked amazing. I mean, seriously, let's just, um, let's just take a moment and thank our glam squads, okay? Yes? I mean, seriously, next to you all, I feel like I got you to throw something on me, so I had to change. No, I didn't throw. I wake up this way. I do. I don't, I really don't. Okay, I mean, seriously, the outfits, the high heels, the glitter, the dresses, the leather. Where's Iceland? Where are you guys? Hey, please smile at some point. No, no smiles? Okay, maybe at the end. No, he's not smiling. Okay, great. But seriously, underneath all of this glam and glitz and glory, you are all incredible, incredible artists who dare to dream. So we're so thrilled to host you here in Israel. Let's take a quick look at what you guys look like fresh off the boat as soon as you landed.
Shalom Israel. Hello Tel Aviv. We want to set the fire of love in your hearts. Hi Tel Aviv, I'm Zena and I kiss you. It's an amazing city. A really modern city. The people, the food. I feel like home. Welcome to Tel Aviv. I'm your heaven. Thank you so much for your support. Toda, Rabba. Keep your fingers crossed for us. And don't miss. Toda. 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 Tel Aviv, Ya Habibi, Tel Aviv. Tistakel, Kamalir. Enjoy the whole thing, enjoy the whole revision thing. Dare to dream. 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 We are happy to host you and we love you. God. Oh, you guys are so cute. You're, you're going to come again, right? Yes? Great. Okay, so this awesome city of Tel Aviv, my hometown, started as a dream of 66 families right here on the sand dunes, and it turned into Israel's cultural heart. We've waited 20 years to show the world how much we love Eurovision and to show off this place because we're very proud and what a wild and fun city Tel Aviv is. So let's check in live at the Tel Aviv Eurovision Village. It's the largest Eurovision village in the history and uh, it's right here by our beautiful beaches. Let's just see where they're they having fun. Static Benella there. Are, they, are we going to check them out? Starting in Belala, there. Everyone is welcome to enjoy all the performances of the Eurovision, meet the stars from past Eurovisions. We got DJs and parties and the hottest Israeli music acts. There they are. Oh my God, they're on stage right now. Check them out. That's incredible. They're really, they're fun. They're having fun there. They're having a big party. All right, did you get the message, you guys? Did you get the message, yeah, all the delegations? There's a lot to do here. We're really big into parties, no big deal. And now, please welcome the mayor of Tel Aviv, Jaffa. After over a year of preparation for the show, he can run for the president of the Eurovision Song Contest Fan Club. He's probably gonna win, because he's been winning every election in the past 20 years. Ron Khuzai, the mayor of Tel Aviv Jaffa. How does it work? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome oh, all much to much. our wonderful city, Tel Aviv Yafo. Tel Aviv Yafo is honored to host Eurovision 2019. I have a grand arranged for you great weather. So all that is left for you is to enjoy the beaches, culinary scene, and the amazing people of Tel Aviv Yafo. And they are ready only for you. Get ready for the best Eurovision ever. It's Tel Aviv. By the way, he just learned how to use the looper. Maybe he'll win the Eurovision Song Contest next year. Who knows? Okay, the Eurovision will be broadcast live by Khan, the Israeli 
Public Broadcasting Corporation on May 14, 16, and 18. And this is the first time Khan is broadcasting this worldwide event. Let's hear more about Khan's excitement and preparation from Khan's Council General, Council Chairman, Mr. Gil Omer, please. Good evening to all of you. I'm very happy to welcome all of you to Tel Aviv, to Israel. Uh, it's hard to believe, but this week, uh, Cannes will mark its second anniversary. Second anniversary, which means that Cannes won the Eurovision contest. I mean, not Cannes, Neta, thanks to Neta. Cannes has the big opportunity to produce this amazing event in our second anniversary. I, I, wish you all, I wish all of you good contest, enjoy the semi-final and the final, and uh, really I hope that all of you will uh, go uh, back to your country with all the, uh, the best memories you can. Thank you and good evening. Maybe it's a big hit, even when your lover is 
they're celebrating a decade of worldwide success. What we just heard was a medley of some of the hit songs which won the Eurovision Song Contest in the past, and one of your songs may join this medley next year. No pressure, none whatsoever. Now we have much more for you on the other side of town at the Tel Aviv Boardwalk, Hangar 11. That's where you'll find the Euro Club, the official club for the 2019 Eurovision. So, if you love to party all night, if you love the Eurovision, or if you just, you know, just love, just come and join us. That would be the place to be. Lee Griner is at the Euro Club right now with, um, are we here? Is Lee there? Is Lee there? Are we going to say, are we going to pitch everyone. Bob to the party? I Hi. I'm Lee Griner, there and you go. I'll Hi, be Lee. your host here at the Euro Club. I'll be waiting for you every night, all week long, at Hangar 11 at the port of Tel Aviv every single night till Saturday with live performances of the Eurovision's biggest stars and DJ lineups of all the greatest hits of, Euro of the Eurovision history. Thank you so much, Lee Grinnell. And FYI, Golden Boy and Nadav Gedge will perform there tonight as well, so rush straight from here. Now, please welcome to the stage the woman who brought these next few days to live, 2019 Eurovision Song Contest executive producer, Mrs. Zivit Davidovic. <laughs> Good evening. It is our sincere privilege and joy to welcome you to our country. We, Tada! <laughs> we welcome Europe with open arms to get a taste of Tel Aviv. For us Israelis, the Israeli production, it was a year and experience that none of us will ever forget. And so do our families and our loved ones. And this is a perfect time to say thank you for your patience and support. I want to thank all the hardworking people at our production team who slept very little but gave all their heart and talent and effort to make this Eurovision Song Contest an unforgettable one. Thank you. A special thanks to my partners who dared to climb this hill with me. My dear talented partner Yuval Cohen, the TV and show producer. The amazing TV producer of this show, Meital Cohen and Tali Ishkoli, the head of event, who is the Israeli Eurovision queen. A sincere thanks to Eldad Koblenz, Khan CEO, who placed the wheels of this wonderful show in our hands, and to Khan and Khan's council, who were supportive all along the way and was part of this amazing production. And finally, thanks to Yon Ola Sand for your excellent advice. I feel that myself and my colleagues graduated the EBU University this year conducted by you. We dare to dream, and it is with great honor we share with you a dream come true. Have a great time here. Thank you all. Good luck. Thank you, Zivit. Now, this is the 64th Eurovision Song Contest. And uh, Mr. Yoon Olasand is the executive supervisor of the whole contest. So basically, he's our ruler, our king, le roi. Please welcome Mr. Yoon Olasand. Well, thank you for the introduction and uh, thank you, Sivit, for your kind words. Uh, it has been a pleasure being here in Israel for more, now for almost a year, uh, working with um, Eurovision Song Contest together with a very professional team, uh, a, a very good team here in Israel. And I would like to, to use this opportunity to focus on a couple of things that I think is important with the Eurovision Song Contest. All you artists that are here today is not only representing your country, you are also representing a broadcaster, a public service broadcaster, because this is a co-production between public service broadcasters in Europe. And 
When we flex our muscle, we are really strong. We can make this amazing week with three television shows. Every year we can set new standards on technology and innovation. And I'm very proud to be a part of that. And public service broadcasting is an important part of the democracy in Europe. That's why I'm so glad that I this year had the chance to work with our newest member, Khan, here in Israel, who is a true public service broadcaster that, that is really important for Israel, and it's important that Khan stay strong. And I think you all will see during this week what Khan, as a public service broadcaster, can do uh, for, for the whole of Europe. So I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of that, and I would like to thank Khan and the team at Khan uh, and, and, and the, the management of Khan for being so supportive, so agile, and so strong in the way they have made this song contest come true. Uh, it has been an excellent cooperation throughout the year. I would also like to thank the mayor of Tel Aviv and his team for an exciting and good cooperation. Together we will make a fantastic event. It starts this week. Uh, already tomorrow we will have the jury final coming out where the juries all over Europe will, will watch and give their uh, judge uh, their, their points or their, their validation of the different entries. Uh, and on Tuesday we have the first live show out of Tel Aviv. I know because I've seen what we what we have ready for you. It will be three amazing TV shows. And again, thanks a lot to Khan, thanks to the city of Tel Aviv, and thanks to the people of Israel. This will be a great week. Thank you all. Thank you so much, Yoon Ulasan. Okay, um, so a few of you in the audience weren't even born the last time Israel hosted the show. That was 20 years ago, and I know, I know, I know, I know it doesn't look like it, but I was here, I was alive back then. I think I was five. No, I wasn't five, I was more than five. No, I wasn't, but thank you so much. Okay, let's just say, nah, okay, I'm digressing. To perform the song who brought this celebration to Israel 20 years ago, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present our international diva, the Queen of Tel Aviv, Israel's ambassador to the world, the legendary Eurovision icon. Let's hear it up for Dana International. Viva la vida, viva la vida. 
Not the dangerous one, the nice one, the bottle. Albania! Armenia! Australia! Austria! Azerbaijan! Belarus! Belgium! Croatia! Cyprus! Czech Republic! Denmark! Estonia! Finland! Georgia, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, North Macedonia, Malta, Moldova, Montenegro, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Russia, San Marino, Serbia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, 
two semifinals and one grand final. Thank you, Khan 11, Israel Public Broadcasting Corporation. And don't forget, if you dare to dream, it will come true. I'm Noah Tishby. Have a great night, Europe. right turn around turn around okay everybody break a piece grab there's a hammer here there's a hammer can we please invite the mayor of Tel Aviv yes Mr. Ron Huldai where is Ron Huldai on here Wait, it's on here okay this is the 
representatives of all the country. Inouan Khuldaei, excuse me guys, there you go. The mayor of Tel Aviv is gonna break the chocolate. Take the hammer and break the chocolate. Oh my god, they're all going to town on the chocolate here. I need to have a prompter, she is full. I don't have any prompter. Any prompter. Ken. Roy chocolate is one of the tasty and best chocolates in Israel. Thank you, all of our friends, the old friends, the new friends. Don't go yet, we got a surprise for you. I want to welcome for the stage, Mr. Ron Khuldaei, Yun Olasand, Gil Omer, the chairman of Khan, and Zivit Davidovich. Roy Chocolate is one of the tasty and best chocolates in Israel. It's prepared a huge chocolate table made from 100 kilos of chocolate, all made with your, your flags. We'll give you hammers so you can piece together and before, let's make the biggest chocolate. Well, it's not the biggest, but the VPs, ma. Lo mamina shlo natatem li lavor ze kodem. Lo ma. Okay, ma'ach shav. 